from Dolly Covergirl to Victoria's Secret's Angel. Coming up, we take you exclusively behind the scenes as Australia's next supermodel, Miranda Kerr, gets set to shoot her latest fashion campaign. It started when a 13-year-old girl with enormous turquoise eyes became the youngest Dolly cover girl ever. Fast forward 10 years and she's the face of Portman's and well on her way to supermodel status. So I'm sitting here with Miranda Kerr who is dubbed as the next Aussie supermodel. Pretty big uh, shoes to fill. That's, the, that's a nice one, thanks. Small pants, big shoes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> now we're shooting the Portman's campaign. Tell me about, like, is it fun? Did you grow up with the brand? Yeah, no, Portman's have actually become quite a lot like family to me and um, I come back to, I was coming back to Australia every six weeks for three days work, so it was madness. On the set of her latest Portman's campaign, the effervescent beauty is clearly enjoying the ride. We have a lot of fun on the shoots, I mean you've seen today, we're just mucking around, enjoying ourselves and yeah, it's a great brand. This season's got a, a few beautiful little pieces coming out and nice little tunics and What's your favourite style at the moment in fashion? Anything that's kind of comfortable and and casual but still a, a little bit elegant at the same time. What I like to do is mix designers with um, vintage and like, you know, to add a little bit of something more to it so it's not like a designer. Or, and I love the Australian designers, I mean I really think they have a lot to offer. You've just been signed as a Victoria's Secret angel. Yeah. That is a big thing in modelling. That launched Heidi Klum's career, Ty Tyra Banks, a, a, a kind of slew of supermodels. How did you get that job? The first job we did together was in Venezuela. Yeah. It was their swim book and I remember going there and then I flew into Venezuela and then from there we caught a private jet on this little aeroplane to oh. Los Roques and it was so amazing. I was like, wow, this is like <laughs> surreal. As a, you know, as a girl who grew up in the country in Canada, yeah. you know, a population 8 thousand people. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> and now you're a Victoria's Secret angel, model, supermodel, living in New York. What, at what point did you think, I can't believe this is happening? What job did you book or were you on a private plane somewhere and you thought, oh, this is my life? I guess along the way you're thinking, wow, okay, hold on a second. Because for me it's been like the past year and a year and a half has been a major whirlwind of like, okay, just work, work, work. There hasn't been much time to really like sink in and go, whoa, okay, I'm actually doing this and this is actually really happening. You always feel like the same person. It's mm. just your surroundings change and there's a lot more opportunities going on and my life is a lot more hectic and yeah. Apart from the multi-million dollar salary and the private jets, what other perks is the sweet face girl enjoying? For Fashion Week I actually got the, I was privileged enough to sit in the front row and watch some of the shows, yeah. so that was a bit of fun. Wow, isn't that cool, you've come a long way from the catwalk, now you're in the front row. Yeah, I know, now I'm just sitting on the front row, it was quite like a different experience actually, sitting and watching yeah. the show as opposed to being in it and I was like, oh there's my friend. <laughs> Your body, your face is your business. It is. And yet models n notoriously have to fly around the world getting little sleep. There's all these parties and fashion week I know is hectic. Yeah. How do you maintain your looks, which is so crucial? Honestly, if I didn't look after myself from the inside, mm. and I know that sounds like cliche, but mm. it's the truth. It's You really have to like, like eat organic as much as you can. I can't emphasize that you really need to drink water. Like that's How much water do you drink a day? Mm, two litres. Two litres. Minimum, sometimes more. Now in New York, you live there with your boyfriend and Ozzy as well. I mean, did you find, I mean, being a Victoria's Secret angel, men must be, you know, throwing themselves at you. Is it? Have, is I don't it know, important? I work so hard and, I mean, there's men around, but... <laughs> is it important, I mean, you live uptown now in New York with him. Mm -hmm. um, have you been with him for a while? Is important? Is he kind of give you a little bit of um, solidity in your life? Yeah, yeah, he's very supportive and lovely and it's all good. Fantastic. Now your mum is on set today yes. and I know that you're very close with her, aren't you? Yes, she's, I speak to her every day and um, yeah, it's so nice to have that relationship with her that no matter what happens that we have each other and you know, I can, she's only a phone call away so it's nice. Thank you. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Look forward to uh, seeing the commercial when it comes out. Yeah. And uh, good luck with everything. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks.